हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद एन एग्जांपल दिस बॉक्स इज इनिशियली एट द पोजीशन ऑफ रेस्ट द फोर्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन वाज एक्टिंग ऑन इट टू कीप इट फ्रॉम मूविंग आई चेंज द पोजीशन ऑफ बॉक्स बाय स्लाइडिंग इट टू द वन डायरेक्शन but it stopped as soon as i stopped sliding it friction stop it from moving as soon as an external force stop pushing it static friction is the force that keep the things at rest and prevent them from moving things that are at rest usually experience static friction so this box at rest on the ground the rough surface of the box and the ground interlock with each other and prevent it from moving thus the force that an object at rest must overcome before it can start moving is called static friction Sliding friction is the force which is needed by an object to keep moving with same speed. Things that are either pulled or pushed experience sliding friction. When an object roll over the surface of another object, it is said to have a rolling friction. Many suitcases are fitted with roller which make it easy to roll them on the ground even if they are heavy things on wheel have rolling friction static friction acts on the object that are at rest whereas rolling and sliding friction act on moving object to keep the objects moving at constant speed unless an external force acts on it Rolling the object provide the least friction. Rolling reduce the friction. It is always easier to roll than to slide a body over another. Object at rest experience the most friction because they are completely in contact with the surface and their surfaces are interlocked with each other. So in this video we discussed three types of friction static friction sliding friction and rolling friction So always remember static friction is always more than the sliding friction and sliding friction is more than the rolling friction The rolling friction is smaller than the sliding friction Sliding friction is replaced in most machines with rolling friction by using ball bearings. The very common example of the use of ball bearing is the axle of bicycle. So if you have any query then you can comment on this video also like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.